FSU campus buildings have new names and new meanings behind them. The Cafaro family has been giving back to the community for years, but today they donated nearly $2 million to the university. They say their penguin pride runs deep. Now both the Cafaros and Silvestris are being honored for their contributions. JJ and Jen came to us and said, how can we help? What used to be the halls of Lincoln and Phelps renamed in recognition of $1.75 million the Cafaro family donated to Youngstown State University. There is a lot of the Cafaro family represented at this university and it is an honor now to personally be able to be part of the history of this great university. The former Lincoln building now called JJ and Janet Cafaro Hall and the Phelps building Ronald G. Silvestri Hall, in honor of Janet Cafaro's late brother, who was a local businessman. Both Silvestri and the Cafaros received a Youngstown State education at one point before doing big things and continue their involvement. The Cafaro daughters, Capri and Renee, say their YSU roots are responsible for their successful careers. And really prepared us for our further academic uh, growth at Stanford University and, and our um, professional success in government and politics and beyond. But the Cafaros say they want to focus on their Uncle Ronnie and his legacy Silvestri Hall will represent. My mother's family um, contributed a significant amount to uh, the growth of this community. They were the site contractors for General Motors Lordstown. He died way too soon. Um, and so this is very much an emotional day, I think, for, for uh, our family as well. The Cafaros hope these two buildings serve as a reminder to YSU students to dream big. So many amazing people have come out of here and you can really do anything. You know, if you could dream it, you can do it and you can start here at Youngstown State. YSU President Jim Trussell tells me the donation will go towards improving the facilities.